Hello everyone and welcome back to another Biomed Basics video. Today we're going to talk about bilirubin and bilirubin and how they're used to treat babies. Jaundice is a symptom for a failure in the bilirubin metabolism cycle. When you digest food, the gallbladder excretes bile into the small intestine. The bile is converted by microbes into a substance called urobilinogen, which then is instantly oxidized into urobilin. Urobilin is the substance which gives feces its brown color, and about 20% of that urobilin is recycled by the body back into the bloodstream, and it travels to the liver and the kidneys. Around 90% goes to the liver, and about 10% goes to the kidneys, which is responsible for the yellow color of your urine. If the process is interrupted in any way, perhaps by liver damage or disease, then excess bilirubin ends up in the bloodstream. This leaves a yellow color to the skin and in the eyes. The condition is called jaundice. There's several types of jaundice, but we're going to focus on the neonatal jaundice. Newborns often have underdeveloped livers which cannot process all of the bilirubin, and babies can have destruction of fetal blood cells which usually help transport the excess bilirubin around the body. Around 60% of full-term babies develop jaundice, and 80% of preterm babies develop jaundice. Bilirubin tends to build up around the brain, which can create brain damage and even death. Bilirubin levels are checked by either skin or blood tests. The skin checks are performed with a bilimeter. The bilimeter is a light meter which sends out a white light into the skin and measures the intensity of certain wavelengths of reflected light. The measured amount of reflected light is proportionate to the amount of bilirubin in the bloodstream. Blood tests are a more invasive method but it can also give you a better idea as to the cause of jaundice, like liver problems. Jaundice is treatable in babies using a blue light of a specific wavelength. The blue light interacts with the bilirubin beneath the skin and converts the bilirubin from a fat-soluble substance into a water-soluble substance. As a water-soluble substance, the excess bilirubin can naturally be filtered out by the body's endocrine and digestive systems. There are several types of lights that can be used to treat jaundice. There's radiant lights, which can have fluorescent bulbs and halogen bulbs. There's new Billy lights, which rely on specifically engineered LEDs, and those LEDs produce a pure blue light, and they eliminate most of the harmful UV light that normal bulbs can produce. The LEDs can be in a grid pattern, or they can be used with fiber optics. One of the most versatile applications is the LED fiber optic blanket, which can be wrapped around the baby so that they can get treatment from all angles, all sides. I hope you learned a little bit more about jaundice and how it's treated with phototherapy. If you like these kind of videos, please subscribe and give me a thumbs up so I know what content you guys all prefer. Thanks for watching.